Praise be Jesus and Mary. Pope Francis, in his encyclical Lumen Fidei, on the light of faith, speaks of the social dimension of the faith, that by nature, faith enriches our lives, and it also enriches the lives of others. And we notice, notice this in the gospel today, where the need of one person is helped by the faith and merits of others. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, child, your sins are forgiven, their faith. And this is really how divine providence works in the world and in souls. When faith is lived out, when prayer rises up to God, it always enriches and is never wasted. Divine providence, as St. Thomas says, both chooses the effect, conversion, sanctification, or healing, and chooses the cause from which this effect comes from. So in this case, the faith of others. It chooses the effect and cause. This is why St. Therese wondered which soul it was who prayed for her and obtained for her the grace of her religious vocation. She thought it was some little soul who prayed who was unknown that obtained for her the grace of her religious vocation. Whoever it was obtained a great saint and a doctor of the church. And we can also ask, which soul obtained St. John Paul II? Which soul prayed for someone like Mother Teresa? All these graces are Lord and God who chooses from the variety of, of the souls who pray to him. He chooses the cause from which these effects, certain saints, certain conversions, healings come from. So let us never be discouraged if we don't see the fruits of our prayers because that is not really necessary. It's, um, we'll, Saint Therese herself says that we will have surprises when we get to heaven because we will see how the prayers of little souls obtain the greatest saints that we know of. So let us never be discouraged by the supernatural value of the ordinary living out of the faith. It always enriches and is never wasted. Or as St. Maximilian says, it, it is the prayers of those prayerful, prayerful souls who make the world go round. Praise be Jesus and Mary.